the uh, Belmont town government began a process of monitoring and suing Representative Sylvia over various alleged violations of his own property. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. This message is in part for the, uh, the ears and consciences of those operatives and ministers who call themselves uh, the town of Belmont, New Hampshire. Additionally, the law firm Mm. Which has uh, which has taken upon itself to represent them. <sighs> Other New Hampshire political operatives who may have implicated themselves in the acts of invasion uh, detailed below may also find interest in in this oration. Many of you and your deeds are referenced. Mm. Listen with care. During the year of our Lord, whose golden rule you violate, 2018, the soulless and yet perhaps humanly vindictive machinery of your unproductive edifices descended upon the humble yet apparently harmless property of a government volunteer we know as State Representative Mike Sylvia. Uh, to say that he is a volunteer uh, may be overgenerous, for he does uh, receive from the seat at Concord uh, a salary of $100 uh, per annum. For the uninitiated, New Hampshire's legislature is one of the few on the globe which possess what we, we might call and easily identify as a uh, a liberty faction, though unworthy, as perhaps all are unworthy, of any special treatment under the law. The representative Sylvia stands out, even within that faction, having won the coveted Legislator of the Year Award from the, uh, from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. He is also, at last glance, the elected chairman of Belknap County's delegation to the State House. The old lion whose uh, uh, accoutrements I mimic once said, while invoking against the European despotisms of old, quote, a state of society where a businessman or small shopkeeper ruins his competitor by telling tales about his private opinion, such a state of society uh, cannot long endure if it is continually in contact with the healthy outside world. Unquote. Here the target of suppression is partially different and not nearly so private, but the remedy of sunlight is much the same. Here the authoritarian politician or functionary endeavors to ruin or gridlock their small government competition. They find, as it is woefully easy to find, a minor violation, or perhaps not minor, by the target victim the like of which is near impossible to avoid committing in an empire with over two hundred thousands of law pages. Some say that it is, uh, it is closer to two millions, uh, but they have lost count. Uh, they, uh, they then undertake to ensure that um, occasional dissident, uh, the occasional dissident, or liberty-leaning official, is held tight the almost numberless constraints in the most uh, ruthless and thorough manner practical, a process against which the establishment figures appear by contrast to live a charmed immunity. Uh, by these methods, 
that the centauri is meant uh, to be reduced or the frugal official punished for their reticence to help impose a rapidly growing expenditure of tax dollars. Uh, perhaps along these lines, or perhaps just by remarkable concurrence, in May of 2018, a letter appeared in the Laconia Daily Sun. It alleged Sylvia had not lived the required number of years in New Hampshire before taking office. A uh, Sheriff's Department investigation has accused Mr. Sylvia of guilt and referred the issue to the state's Attorney General. We are so often told that Sheriff's offices do little in New Hampshire. <clears throat> Perhaps uh, this office was unusually motivated. The matter is pending, but the allegations would be difficult to prove. It would have to be shown that Representative Sylvia was not residing in New Hampshire as far back as at least uh, to uh, uh, November of 2010. Uh, this epistle to the Sun, an industrious and urgently worded document, was in a sense commendable for its watchdoggery of government. Would that such watchdoggery were uh, less selectively aimed against the uh, against the friend of the watchdoggerous. Mm. The um, meanwhile, the uh, Belmont town government began a process of monitoring and suing Representative Sylvia over various alleged violations of his own property often referred to in the public parlance as victimless crimes. He denied that they were even this, and claimed to be in compliance with both statute and ordinance. The allegation of running for office before the law allows should not be treated with contempt. And, uh, mm, contempt should not be treated with it should not be treated with the contempt, and the act, if proven, uh, should not be countenanced. It seems questionable uh, that it even happened, and still more unlikely that proof to the contrary uh, can be produced. But it is said that one may know a villain by his grievances, that within this context, um, uh, that, that within context, all those grievances are subject to scrutinization, including the peripheral. If these do not recount a threat or act of aggression, then most probably they are indeed the grievances of an evildoer. And oh, what wretched and ciliary grievances have been proffered against this, perhaps least of <coughs> offensive, of state officials. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.